welcome to Sussex Street Christian Centre Reflection Series, looking at the Gospel of Mark. We'll be working through Mark by looking at each chapter's subheadings, a series of around 72 such reflections. We hope you're blessed by them. They help you develop your own relationship with God. Also, that this series will inspire you to become an active part of God's kingdom where you live. Today, we're looking at Mark chapter 6, verses 7 to 13. I'm reading from the New International Version, and this passage has the subheading of Jesus Sends Out the Twelve. Then Jesus went around teaching from village to village. Calling the twelve to him, he began to send them out, two by two, and gave them authority over impure spirits. These were his instructions. Take nothing for the journey except a staff. No bread. No bag. No money in your belts. Wear sandals, but not an extra shirt. Whenever you enter a house, stay there until you leave that town. And if any place will not welcome you or listen to you, leave that place and shake the dust off your feet as a testimony against them. They went out and preached that people should repent. They drove out many demons and anointed many sick people with oil and healed them. As Mark's Gospel progresses, we see how, having chosen his disciples and spent time with them, Jesus remains aware that the time for his personal ministry is limited, and it's necessary to ensure that the twelve develop together, in order that they can minister likewise and be ready to take on the task of establishing the church. Many commentators suggest that period as being of only about three years. By sending them out in twos, there was companionship, mutual support and encouragement, together with the opportunity for conversations with those they meet to take place in a more effective manner. Such an approach remains quite commonplace with many of places of work these days, finding that having colleagues working together like this is beneficial. The instruction to travel light and to portray an austere lifestyle reflects, to an extent, the example of John the Baptist, a man well known to Jesus, of course. By briefing the disciples in the manner described, Jesus expects each of them to exercise their existing faith, but also to enter the unknown, in order for that faith to be extended. We read in particular that Jesus gave them authority over impure spirits. Accordingly, they most certainly would not be going out in their own strength, but rather empowered by the Son of God. By staying in receptive people's homes, accepting their hospitality, they had a base in each of the places that were visited. Settlements which would hear their preaching and where the opportunity was given for individual repentance and a profession of personal faith. We read as well that having been equipped with that necessary authority, many demons were driven out and that many sick people received healing. This after their having been anointed with oil, a symbol of holiness and devotion recorded frequently in scripture. Now for nearly everyone, starting a new job includes a period of training and in most employment, training and development activity tends to be an ongoing process. That way, changes of many sorts can be accommodated in a manner that ensures everyone involved will remain accredited and competent. As we were affected by COVID-19, it became apparent that many of us might have been taking some types of work for granted, as we quite quickly appreciated more greatly the people working in healthcare and related roles, those who kept our essential supplies available, and those who ensured our refuse and recycling was collected. A new term of key workers became familiar to us all. In the passage we've just read, the sending out of the Twelve seems to me as being a bit like work experience, an essential part of training up those who will be establishing the church. A church to be led by people who have spent quality time together and by people under the ultimate of mentors, Jesus Christ. 
Son of God. Almost certainly there would be challenges. The disciples were told how to respond if and when their message was rejected. The disciples went out with no money, no bread and no bag. Just the clothes they were wearing and the comfort of a staff, seen by some as the symbol of being a guide or a shepherd. They needed faith to be fed, to be provided with accommodation and to minister. We are not told in this passage, but on their return, surely they would have been stronger in their faith. Encouraged that because of Jesus, they'd been successful in the tasks they'd been assigned. And above all, that Jesus had prepared the way for them to learn and to be equipped for further challenges in the future. Now let's pray together. Our Father God, thank you that you have provided this example of your disciples going into unknown territory with few earthly resources. Thank you for showing us how they could do so. Because of their assurance and a certainty that they were being obedient to you and were doing your will. Help us to spend sufficient time both reading your word and in prayer as we seek your direction for how you are calling us as both individuals and as your collective church to greater obedience to you in the here and now. We want to be effective witnesses for you and we ask this through the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen.